Here's a question, why do we get goosebumps? And is there a way we can take that knowledge and turn it into money? Hmm. <laughs> Hey guys, Tara here for DNews with yet another scientific invention that proves just how awesome and simultaneously terrifying the future will be. A research team from South Korea has developed a sensor capable of measuring goosebumps on the human body in real time. The way it works is they place a conductive sensor on the surface of the skin, so when a person develops goosebumps and their skin buckles slightly, it creates a drop in the electrical charge that's stored in this sensor. That allows researchers to precisely measure how big someone's goosebumps are and how long they've lasted. Now, why would something like this be useful? Well, goosebumps are a physiological response, but they're also an emotional response. So being able to measure someone's goosebumps is a gateway to information about their emotional state. It's kind of like the final frontier for biometric monitoring. Obviously, not everybody's gonna be wearing one of these things all the time, but in certain situations, like film screenings, for example, it can allow marketers to see exactly which parts of a movie people respond strongly to. From there, you can imagine personalized advertising, music, and tons of other services catered specifically to each user. The film industry has been doing something similar to this for years now, albeit without this technology, but audience reactions to test screenings have often informed the final edit of a movie. So being able to harness that information in a precise and measurable way could be extremely valuable to both marketers and advertisers. Potential dystopian futures aside, this article got me wondering about why humans even get goosebumps. What purpose do they serve? And how did it become a part of our biology? Well, it turns out they are a gift from our animal ancestors. And like many of the things we've inherited from them, they serve no modern function whatsoever. Beneath the surface of our skin, there are tiny muscles called erector pili muscles that attach to each individual hair follicle. When you're especially cold, those muscles will contract, creating tiny depressions in the skin that cause everything around them to stand up, including your hair. Goosebumps actually get their name because they strongly resemble the way a bird's skin looks after its feathers have been plucked. Of course, in animals with thick fur, this kind of physiological response makes total sense. When their hair stands up, it creates an added layer of insulation around their bodies, allowing them to retain more heat. Goosebumps are also the reason that animals' hair tends to stand up when they feel threatened. That, in combination with the stance that they assume, makes them appear bigger and more threatening to their enemies. Obviously, this reaction is useless for us humans because we don't have thick layers of fur all over our body. Well. Most of us don't. But we still experience goosebumps, so what's behind this? Well, it boils down to the stress hormone adrenaline. Animals release adrenaline when they're either cold or under stress. It's what prepares them for fight or flight situations. Humans experience the same thing, but in more kinds of situations. When we're cold, when we're afraid, when we're under stress, or when we're feeling strong emotions, all of those responses cause our bodies to release adrenaline. And one of the hallmark features of an adrenaline rush is the contraction of our skin muscles, hence goosebumps. Aside from the fact that they serve no modern purpose for humans, they're still one of the most obvious indicators of our current emotional state. Those of you out there who are into video games, I'm sure have experienced goosebumps while playing a game at some point. So let me remind you that I also host a gaming channel called Rev3 Games. If you're into video games, you should check it out. We do everything from reviews to previews to live streams, all kinds of fun stuff. You can check us out at youtube.com slash rep3games. And in the meantime, let us know what you think of this invention. Can it be used for good or is it just another way for companies to sell us stuff? Let us know in the comments below. And as always, thank you guys for watching.